All right, guys, so the mainstream liberal media has started to react to Leia Thomas and other trans athletes effectively getting banned from swimming against people of the opposite biological sex at elite level international competition. And of course, the mainstream liberal media's reaction is very tone deaf as they're not even trying to engage in the core argument that it is in fact unfair for biological men to compete against biological women in sports instead they pretend that biological men are in fact real women and if you say anything different than that if you're opposed to that if you're actually grounded in biological fact and truth then therefore you are a transphobic big <laughs> take a look championships no trans women um is this a a solution in search of a problem i really think that's what's going on here there is not some grand existential threat to women's sports caused by trans women's participation the grand existential threat to women's sports is not putting women's sports on tv basically and not supporting them so i, I think that you know we have this one woman leah thomas who has unfortunately become the face of a problem that doesn't really exist yeah. um and and she's she's being used as uh as a peg in in these culture wars that we're seeing around this country and around the world it's not just for professional sports or or college sports this is also going down to elementary school sports and you know youth sports where there are rules against trans kids playing sports well, so FINA's ruling only affects competition at the elite level. There is absolutely a trickle-down effect here, both psychologically and in real legislation. More than half of the states uh, in, the, in, the, in the United States have introduced legislation to ban trans athletes at the youth level yeah. as well. Um, and, and the psychological effect really can't be overstated. The fact that, you know, these are kids and athletes who are being denied their own existence um, while being denied competition. And, and it's, really, it's really sad to see, and it's really unfortunate. We're, we're likely to see this. In, in other sports around the world. Are you expecting, I, I was going to ask, are you expecting to see it in other sports? Your answer is yes. What about this new category, um, this open category that FINA said it may develop in future swimming competitions? What do you make of that? I mean, given that there's not very many trans athletes competing, I mean, would... you're going to end up having swim swim meets with one or two athletes in, in an entirely different category. Mm -hmm. And again, the psychological effect of categorizing trans women as not women is is really devastating. And this is not a conversation we're having about trans men athletes. And this kind of goes back to assumptions about physiological advantages that don't actually have proper data behind it. Uh, what do you make of the arguments from some of the swimming uh, women swimmers involved who say, listen, my body is just fundamentally different from somebody who's gone through puberty as a boy? That's not untrue necessarily, but there are cisgender women who also have testosterone levels. You know, I'm, I'm someone who has polycystic ovarian syndrome, yeah. and our testosterone levels are above average, and in some of the legislation uh, barriers that, that are being passed right now would not qualify us for competition, mm. even though we are cisgender women. So I think it's, it's a really complicated issue. It's obviously very emotionally charged, but the fact of the matter is this is about dignity and humanity. Kavitha, thank you so much. Well said. Appreciate you know, guys, it is absolutely incredible how people can go on TV and just lie, right? I mean, just flat out just lie. And one of the biggest lies from the left in regards to this whole, you know, transgender people in sports thing is this idea that there's legislation that is being passed that is banning transgender people from participating in sports, period, right? You're banning trans people from sports. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. There's not one piece of legislation that is banning a transgender athlete from participating in sports. Yes, there's legislation that is banning them from competing against kids and people of the opposite biological sex, but that's not banning them from playing sports. If they want to play sports, they can compete amongst those of the same biological sex or amongst other transgender athletes, okay? But again, according to uh, woke revolutionaries like this woman right here, uh, th that's not good enough, right? You're taking away their dignity and their humanity, okay? Simply because um, you're saying we want fair competition. And the thing is, you know, she brings up so many irrelevant things. It's like, oh, well, there are women out there that have higher testosterone levels than normal women or whatever, right? The average woman. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But <laughs> the amount of testosterone they have more than normal women is not nearly as much as a biological male would. And testosterone is not the only 
advantage that we're talking about here. Okay, we're talking about bone structure, muscle density, uh, hand size, limb size. We're, we're talking about a whole bunch of different uh, physiological advantages that biological men have over women that women just cannot make up for, right? It is what it is. Now, again, there are going to be uh, physiological differences between women. Obviously, some women are going to be born with ge genetic advantages over others. But again, the difference is not nearly as much as that of a biological male versus a biological woman. But again, this, this woke revolutionary is too dense to realize that. Actually, she does realize that. She's just trying to push an agenda, right? She doesn't really care about the facts, okay? She doesn't care about the science. She doesn't care about the biology, uh, because she thinks that biological men are, are in fact women. And, and when you're saying that, you cannot have an argument with people like that. There's no reason to even engage in debate with them because they're not grounded in basic truth, right? So you can't reason with them, okay? So that being said, that brings us to the main story of this video that I want to talk about, which is Megan Rapino, whom got trashed, okay, for suggesting that one, women's sports, right, particularly when it comes to non-elite competition, is not that important, okay, and because it's not that important, parents who are concerned about their daughters competing against biological males, they need to shut up, okay, because apparently some people's rights are more important than other people's rights uh, if, you know, you claim to be a so-called marginalized person, right, so with that being said, uh, let's read about this. Uh, as this article is titled, quote, I got mine, F them kids. People rip Megan Rapino over comments about girls competing against trans athletes. Let's read here. Leading women's sports soccer player Megan Rapino caught the wrath of social media users on Tuesday for arguing that female athletes and their parents need to get over the advantages biologically male transgender athletes have over girls. Rapino told Time Magazine in an interview published Sunday that she is, quote, 100% supportive of, quote, trans inclusion in female sports, dismissing concerns about fairness. Hmm. I wonder if Megan Rapino would be cool with it if there were a bunch of male soccer players competing against her, right, at the elite level, right? If you had a whole team full of transgender, biologically male soccer players competing against her, I wonder would she be cool with it. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't. Quote, I would also encourage everyone out there who is afraid someone's going to have an unfair advantage over their kid to really take a step back and think, what are we actually talking about here? She said, we're talking about people's lives. I'm sorry, your kid's high school volleyball team just isn't that important. Wow. Wow. I mean, that is super tone deaf. I mean, she's telling parents essentially, that, hey, uh, your daughter and her volleyball team, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Women's sports, girls' sports don't matter, okay? That scholarship that she's trying to get doesn't matter. Her just having the joy of being able to play on a team and to be successful and to win and that camaraderie that she's developing with her teammates, right, competing in a competition is actually fair, that does not matter. What's more important, what's more important, right, is these other groups of people who claim to be so marginalized, right? That's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. Rapino was ripped over the tone deaf commentary as social media users were quick to point out that the athlete's remarks come as Rapino is on her way to retirement. Daily Wire editor Emeritus Ben Shapiro wrote, quote, just a note, if biological males were allowed to play against U.S. women's national soccer team, Megan Rapino and crew would get their asses kicked by a bunch of junior high school boys. Facts. Facts. In fact, it already happened. Shapiro then linked a 2017 story from CBA Sports about an under-15 uh, boys academy besting the U.S. women's soccer team in a scrimmage. Again, that's how much of an advantage that biological males have over biological women when it comes to sports, especially when it comes to contact sports, right? And these people say, oh, there's no scientific evidence. I'm like, what are you talking about? The evidence is everywhere. Have you ever seen, again, a boys basketball team take on a girls basketball team? Have you ever seen that? Because if, you, if you've seen that, then you would know, okay, that's definitely an advantage, right? Have you ever done basic combine measurements for women athletes versus male athletes? I mean, on average, the male athlete is going to be superiorly more athletic than the women. There's plenty of evidence out there that these people just simply don't want to pay attention to. Again, it, it really blows my mind, you know, how tone deaf and dense some of these people are on the left. It, it really does. 
But yeah, her team allegedly got beat <laughs> by a 15-year-old boys soccer squad. Again, that's how much of an advantage biological males have over uh, women. But hey, Megan Rapinoe wants to be woke. And she doesn't have to worry about it because she's about to retire. So she doesn't have to worry about the fact that we have a society that is basically pushing this stuff on kids. More kids are going to identify as transgender, which means over time, yeah, we're going to have more biological males competing against biological women. And vice versa, because both should not be allowed, okay? We mainly focus on biological males competing against biological women because there, there is an advantage. But also, when you have... Uh, biological women competing against biological males specifically the women that are on drugs like testosterone okay especially if it's a woman that already is kind of manly anyways uh yeah you start putting her on drugs and stuff yeah it does become unfair for the biological males that she's competing against because uh particularly for those males who may not necessarily be as good it does create unfair competition for them okay so again if anybody's is being put at an unfair advantage because of a transgender athlete, then you know that it's, it's not right, okay? If a girl loses a spot, even if she's not a starter, if or she can't win the competition, she's not gonna come in first place, I don't care. If she's gonna come in 10th place, uh, she should have the right to come in 10th place, right? She should be allowed to compete and her spot should not be taken by somebody of the opposite sex, okay? That's what I'm saying. Quote, I got mine, F them kids, conservative writer, Jim uh, Treacher succinctly mocked Rapino. PR professional Vanessa Santos criticized Megan Rapino can safely say these things because she's near retirement and she isn't in danger of being replaced by trans a transgender athlete. She's doing nothing to preserve the future of female sports. Megan Rapino is selfish. Santos blasted. Exactly. I guarantee you. Again, if a biological male replaced her on uh, the U.S. soccer team, I guarantee you she'd be boohoo whining and complaining. Oh, this is not fair. This is not fair. <laughs> you know, that's what she'd be saying. Exactly what she'd be saying. Megan Rapino has two World Cup medals and an Olympic uh, gold thanks to sex segregation in sports. Another Twitter user blasts the athlete. Quote, her team couldn't beat 15-year-old school boys at a recent UK cycling race. Trans and non-binary males were allowed to race again since women. Men took 10 out of the 12 podium places. Facts. Facts. But again, these people on the left, oh, there's no evidence. Come on, man. Here's the thing. Megan Rapinoe is a liar. Conservative pundit Ian uh, Hayworth wrote, she just thinks she's safe. The moment a man takes her roster spot, she'll be outraged as she should. Quote, yes, by all means, quest the dreams, spirits, and dignity of children as long as it provides ideological satisfaction to rich and famous adults, former Trump senior advisor Stephen Miller said. Quote, this is ridiculous. Former uh, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker uh, commented, yeah, so, I mean, again, Megan Rapino here. Um, somebody who had to compete at one point at the non-elite level to get to the elite level is basically advocating for those girls that are trying to get to the elite level to say, hey, no, you have to compete against uh, biological uh, males because it makes me feel good, right? It makes me look woke, and it looks like it makes me look like I'm standing up for so-called marginalized people, right? It's all about her, okay? And, and, and because of her ego... And the brand that she wants to build, she's literally advocating for other girls to have to compete against biological males. But but then she'll turn around out of the same side of her mouth and tell you how much she's fighting for women's rights. When the only women's rights she will fight for are the rights of her soccer team, the U.S. women's soccer team, to get paid the same as men, even though uh, they don't get the same amount of revenue and fans that men get, Okay. That's the only thing she'll fight for because that's direct money in her pocket. But when it comes to all the little girls that are aspiring to be somebody like Megan Rapino to play at the elite level, she's saying, F them, I don't care. Let them play against men, <laughs> right? Let them play against men. Again, this is a shame, man. This woman should actually be ashamed, okay, of coming out here and giving this statement considering how she's supposed to be fighting for women's rights right the woke virtue signaling and the brand building around wokeness is is more important than women's rights and these little girls but it tells you at the end they, they never cared about women's rights. it was never about that it was simply about getting them paid and building their brand that's what it's always about it's always about them let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace